life after life. Why are you so upset? We all made wrong choices in mortal life. But now, we can learn here and have a chance to spiritually evolve in our next life. Let's take a trip down to Earth. It will help get our minds off of things. My relatives are having a seance there. Let's see what it's like through the eyes of someone who lives in the subtle plane. Tune in to me. Jen imagined her face and there they were in a room of some historic house where several people were sitting around a table with their fingers on a saucer, which moved around a large sheet of cardboard on which letters and numbers were written in a circle. The spirit of Tutankhamun, I summon you. Answer us the question, how do we acquire wealth? Jan saw many different spirits flying around the people sitting at the table each trying to give their answer to the people. There was also some kind of statue similar to the way Tutankhamun is portrayed. But here, the host got in contact with some kind of spirit that looked like a furry toad with bat wings, a spirit of the lower word. Why is Tutankhamun so strange? That is not Tutankhamun himself. He himself reincarnated on Earth long ago, but his memory remains in the world of spirits. When a person incarnates, they leave their memory in the subtle plane, so they don't remember anything about their past life. But Tutankhamun spoke an ancient language. How would they understand him if he talked to them? There are no languages in the subtle field. Everyone speaks the same language and easily, even without words, understands and feels each other. Look at this. When the spirit answers, the guy does not hear, but the brain transforms his hand movements, and the saucer fits the right letters. Even plants, insects and animals speak this common language, and you will now understand them just like people who have telepathy, and whose brains have not blocked this ability. You can talk to rocks and to aliens as well. It's much easier for a person to get information using a saucer, a rod, cards, or just by listening to the voice of their body, which has a natural intuition. The body can learn what the mind can't. The toad kept answering people. Some other spirit, looking like a mole with the wings of a fly, tried to push it away to answer instead. Jan remembered how as a teenager, their Pushkin swore when he and his friends tried to summon him. <laughs> Now, he realized how important proper tuning is and how difficult it is to achieve without special practice. How do you tune in? You start tuning in with the awareness that there are three of us. That is, it must be done using three centers. Mental, emotional, and physical. The mind should vividly see the image. The heart should feel it. And the body should physically feel its presence. It is better to first try connecting to close friends, relatives, familiar places or things that belonged to you for a long time. You imagine the person, feel the emotional connection to him or her, and feel him or her hear you, as if you are touching. You have to remember this experience, get accustomed to the feeling, and then you can try doing the same with unfamiliar people in places you've never visited. I see. Just then, Jan noticed a group of people approaching them with unpleasant personalities. Their bodies totally were covered with blisters and sores. They were swearing nastily and pushing each other. We need to return to Kajur now. Imagine his face. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Why did we have to leave? Those were vile creatures, like demons, and you can expect anything from them. In past lives, they were murderers, maniacs, bandits, various other criminals. Their sins keep them out of our world, so they have to stay close to Earth with the spirits. Did you see their sores? That is how strong negative emotions reflect on the subtle body. They disfigure it, 
How long will they remain in the world of the spirits? Why can't they atone their sins? If a person justifies himself, clings to negativity, and considers their vices the norm, a person chains himself to the lower world, remaining a morally debilitated monster. Only by repenting can a person reject the spiritual illness and ascend to a better world. And so a person may continue to reincarnate among the demonic spirits until they decide to get rid of their evil. It is during life that one has to repent and ask for forgiveness from people and from God, and not try to justify their defects, but to condemn them and work on being free of them. First of all, you have to strive to get rid of bad attitudes and envy towards other people and everything that is contrary to love, kindness, and compassion. The cartoon is based on the book Life After Life. Read Life After Life on the website amazonone.org slash books. Receive more interesting practices, spiritual knowledge, and gifts on the websites of our partners. You will find details in the description.